Hello and welcome to another episode of Through an Opaque Lens with me, Niall Murphy. And here I am out in my local forest. It's the 8th of October 2020, the year of the Lurgy. And um, if I'm lucky, I schedule to put this out last thing tonight. Um, that's the idea anyway. Yes, um, I'm in my local forest. I haven't really gone out and ventured very far these last few days because I've had to wait in for couriers. I'm waiting for the rest of my rain wear and my winter wear to arrive. And then just in time for that to arrive, I end up with a mild dry day to go out walking in, but that's all right. At least I'm prepared whatever the weather, you see? Because one of the things I was a bit concerned about is that, well, if the weather's usually a bit worse in the winter, um, than it is in the summer. Um, we tend to get more wet days in the southwest of England in the winter half of the year than we do in the summer half of the year. Although it's potluck really, because that rule doesn't always apply, you see. So I just want to make sure that I'm prepared for it all. I don't want to end up thinking, well, I want to make a video, but I don't want to go out because um, I usually find uh, I'm on a roll more when I'm actually outside in the great outdoors. And well, the great outdoors is good for my soul. Only trouble is, of course, some days I, I have to stay in and I, these last three days I've been doing that, staying in, um, waiting for couriers. Now, during this time, um, I've been having a proper clear out. I've been having a proper dumping and dumping of stuff I don't need to the recycling centre and burning of stuff I need in an incinerator in my garden um, to get rid of a lot of the um, excess clutter, tat, rubbish and just stuff that has been growing that I haven't really been dealing with for the very for a very long time you know and sometimes it's important to do that right it just is important to do that because you can forget about this stuff and that's the thing and as I've been doing that I had been contemplating um, how this represents some kind of magical ritual you know if you're uncluttering and you're getting rid of things you don't need and you're you're um downsizing physically getting rid of everything that's extraneous or surplus or non-essential in a way it's kind of like uh it's like it makes your soul feel lighter it makes you feel like you're less dragging a sack of potatoes around as you walk everywhere you know that's um something that i i kind of think is very important and why it's important to me is that because i don't know what my future is when um this lurgy era is over and reality is no longer on pause like it is at the moment i might be tempted to want to go and be a bit more nomadic so my whole attitude towards all this stuff is well you know only have what's essential make sure i have everything what i need but make sure i get rid of everything i don't need and that way it kind of you know brings a bit of structure and a bit of order um, to your own personal reality well that you can just uh, then if the rest of the world wishes to go into chaos you don't have to feel like you're caught up in the chaos because you're making some effort to bring order to your own stuff and I kind of think that that's uh, a good sort of example of what I think of as a positive form of magic if you like for want of a better cliche you know and that's why I'm calling this episode do your own magic um, now focus on your own magic, not theirs, you know? That's basically what it's all about, you see? Um, and so, um, this time um, that we're in at the moment, while the whole world is on pause, while we can't do all the usual stuff that we'd otherwise do, um, yes, it can be quite hard and it can be quite uncertain. But at the same time, it's like uh, there's a lot of kind of restoration work, maintenance work, and sort of like rebuilding work that can be done during this time. Think of it as like, um, I don't know, like a kind of a tube a line in London or something like that. Say, for instance, like the Victoria line. Um, and say, for instance, that there is some proper like track replacement that needs to be done, and maybe there's a few um, sort of like stations that need to be refurbished, and maybe there's there's a lot of streamlining that needs to be done and and say the four or five hours in the in the night time um when uh there's no trains um when they send the engineers down they send the cleaning staff and all that down to do a lot of work um they can't get enough done and so as a result there's a lot of stuff that goes out of sight out of mind and never gets dealt with and then sort of dangers happen or inefficiency happens or you know all that sort of thing whereas if they just decided to close it all right, it's inconvenient in the short term, but a lot of work could be done. A lot of things that would never otherwise be fixed could be fixed. 
And I'm kind of thinking that this is what I'm thinking of at the moment in this present era while I consider reality to be on pause. I'm thinking the best way I can keep myself sane, keep myself positive, optimistic, focused and ordered, right, is to focus on what I would think of as my own positive magic. And that is um, I have to lighten my load, I have to cleanse, I have to do all of this stuff and think of it like as if it's my own personal magical rituals, you see? Otherwise, you have to pay attention to their magic and that's the problem. That, I think, is where a lot of people are going wrong at the moment, you see? It's very easy, when, when the world is in lurky lockdown, to get carried away focusing on the woke and focusing on the conspiracies and focusing on the cabal that um you know the the gangsters who you know who uh, you know the, who think that they are in control and to start freaking out and thinking oh we're all going to hell the world's going to hell our freedoms are going and all that sort of stuff but what you are doing when you do that is you are becoming a resonator an amplifier for their magic and the best thing to do in a time like this is to think, right, well, what can you sort out in your own life? What have you allowed to be out of sight, out of mind for a very long time that you uh, could actually focus on bringing order to? What could you get rid of? What could you lighten? How could you lighten the load? How can you bring structure and order to things? What can you do? And so um, I've been making these videos um, which I never got round to before, building up an audience. Well, I mean, at the moment, 1,100 subscribers, that's not bad. It has slowed down a bit recently, but, of course, this, is, this was born out of um, the Lurgy lockdown. At the same time, um, another thing that I have managed to do in this time, um, that I'm very happy about, is um, that fasting diet. Now, of course, I'm still on it, you know. I haven't eaten today. Although I'm going to have myself an evening a meal, you know, with a restricted amount of calories. But I'm not doing too badly on that at the moment. I have lost, I think, more than 10 kilos, more than a stone and a half since I started it in August. And I'm very happy about that too. And now, of course, I'm also having a clear out. and getting rid of all the junk and the rubbish that I don't need so that if um, and when the future comes, that I can just uh, up sticks and move again. It's very easy for me to store my stuff, or very easy for me to compact the stuff that I have um, and not feel that it's a ball and chain and not feel so bound by it, all of that stuff. Because that's the thing that's really important. And yes, of course, from day to day, because it's quite tough and because, well, here we are, October, the days are getting darker and shorter, which is a bit of a pain in the ass, I must admit. Um, it's a challenge because this could, you know, be one of the most depressing times in one's life. And that is something that I have to fight as well, right? So, what can we do? The only thing we can do is, as I say, focus on your own magic, not theirs. Because they can make you paranoid. The, the rulers, the powers that be, or the repeat the repeaters of the conspiracy madness they can make you paranoid they can make you lose it they can make you feel like you're living in a world that's running you know that's losing all control losing all freedom etc and to some degree that is going on but at the same time if there's going to be resistance to it resistance is much easier if you have a clear head right those who resist those controls because there will be more and more dissenting voices more and more people saying no we ain't dealing with this anymore i ain't buying this bullshit anymore there will be more and more dissenting voices as time goes on and there will be more and more of a backlash and that's why i'm forever optimistic but sometimes of course it is very hard to be happy and um you know it's not like that doesn't happen to me of course it does but uh, that's what we've got to do. So, as I say, again, focus on your own magic, not theirs. If you ain't running your own reality, someone else is doing it for you. 
I know it's a bit of a generic cliche of a thing to say, but it's true. It's one of the things that we've got to remember. Right, I don't know if I've actually said anything meaningful in this one, <laughs> but there you go. Some days it's like that, and I have not really been at my most inspired, you know. But, you know, I've got to still churn out these videos. So, see you later, alligator. See you soon. Baboon. If you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Also, check out our new merchandise stores where you can find t-shirts, hoodies, mugs and more. Links in the show notes below, as well as the links to all our social media platforms, including Facebook, Twitter, etc. Please help this channel grow. Your help will be appreciated.